All right, y'all, I'm back with a part two for my Norwegian holiday. So where did I leave off? All right, so once JJ gets to Norway, she's trying to figure out when did her grandma come to Norway, her grandma Florence, and who gave grandma Florence his handmade troll with the weird wink. That was a little creepy, right? Anyway, JJ finally tracks down that it was made by somebody with the initials AAA, and she tells grandma Astrid, which is played by Deirdre, right there. And Grandma Astrid realizes that the person that made it is Under. Un Under? And it's played by, he's played by Connor, Connor Mullen. He, Under is also Henrik's coach, okay? So I need y'all to follow me. I need y'all to follow me, right? So Grandma Astrid takes JJ to Under's house and they start talking about how they're on this journey and they need to figure out what Florence was doing. So Ander takes them to a forest near his house and he calls it the Troll Forest. And he shows JJ where he carved this troll for her grandmother Florence. And then he lets her know that they had a very passionate romance before he had to go off to the military, which was required then in Norway. So he basically gave her this troll on Christmas and then January 2nd, 1968, she goes back, Grandma Florence goes back to America. Baby, that's when JJ dropped the whole thing that um, her mother was born July 15th, 1968. Now y'all do the math. Florence done come back January 2nd, 1968 to America. And then she has the baby July 15th, 1968. It's all coming together for JJ that this, this man is possibly her grandfather. And here she was thinking she had no family at all because grandma passed now, um, you know, like a year ago and her mom passed when she was younger. So it's all coming together and baby, that's when JJ, AKA Rhiannon delivers some beautiful acting. You see the tears falling. She's in this troll force and she's walking by herself cause she told who would be her grandfather under and grandma Astrid, that she need to go ahead and walk in the troll park and think she's walking and crying, walking and crying. Grandma Astrid makes it back to the house and, and Hendrick notices that JJ is not with her. And baby, that's when the sparks fly. And I'm telling you, once you get to this point, you're going to need tissues. Okay, hold on. Baby, like I said, you're gonna need tissues because all we see is Hendrick with his bum leg in the troll park trying to find JJ. She's walking and crying as strangers are just kind of looking at her. She's walking and crying and I get it. It was her first Christmas without her grandmother. She was thinking she's all alone in this world and has no family. And now she may have found her biological grandfather all the way in Norway. And this lady started off not believing in fate. But these things could only happen through fate. And I just thought it was wonderful. So anyway, we see Hendrick running towards her, running towards her. Oh, baby. Okay, let me make myself bigger for this. Okay, so we're back in the troll park. And we see Hendrick running with his bum leg, trying to find JJ. And he finds her. And Hallmark did something I've never, ever freaking seen before. Hallmark did the most passionate hug in that troll park, in that forest. The most, like when he, Hendrick catches up with JJ, he hugs her, he embraces her. And then she looks up with tears in her eyes and he gives her another passionate hug. Baby, I can't believe this is a season where even hugs are getting passionate. And I felt that moment, like I cried. I'm gonna be honest, I've already watched this movie three times. And I started watching it this morning, like at 6.30 a.m. I thought my Norwegian holiday was so good. It should have been part of Merry Thanksgiving weekend. It should have been right before a Biltmore Christmas. They could have saved that our Christmas mural for this past Friday. I think that this deserved the Merry Thanksgiving weekend numbers. And I am giving this movie a 10 out of 10. I have watched it three times. It's already one of my favorites. And I told Megan that she needs to watch it, watch it and watch it in detail because this is a movie that from the previews, you just think to yourself, all right, we're going to be up in Norway. It's going to be like stink like the French market with J uh, Noel, or it's going to be okay like a Heidelberg holiday. Um, or it's going to be not that great like Christmas in Notting Hill, but no. My Norwegian holiday is the first 
themed, like country Christmas theme that I think did not only the culture of Norway, um, you know, justice, but actually gave us a taste without it seeming too rushed, even though they only have two hours. I learned a lot about Norwegian culture or as Hallmark presents it. So if you're Norwegian and you saw this movie, let me know what you think. And I also fell in love with the culture and I fell in love with these two characters and I actually believe that these two characters were in love. Baby, Lacey Chabert, if you're watching this, this is how you do a dramedy. Rhiannon, don't let them cast you in anything where you're childish anymore. You need to be in these types of movies where you show your range, that you can go from comedy to drama. In one daggone movie, have us laugh and have us crying, have us believe in love again. And I think that's the thing that A Built More Christmas and my Norwegian holiday has done for me, that no other Hallmark or, or, count, or Miracles of Christmas or Countdown to Christmas movies have done is it actually made me want to believe in love again and fall in love again. Like it actually, my whole dead heart wanted to warm up. And I just think my Norwegian holiday is more than worth watching. If you've got your DVRs, DVR it. Um, it's going to be on again tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern on the Hallmark Channel. It's Saturday, December 2nd. For I don't know when you guys are going to be watching this, but if you don't get to see it tonight, definitely look out for when it comes up again. I just think that it's so wonderful that we're starting the weekend, the first weekend in December, and we're still getting some surprises from Hallmark because there were some disappointments in Merry Thanksgiving weekend. And I don't have a lot of faith with tonight's movie with Brooke Dorsey and Will Kemp. I love them both, but their Countdown to Christmas movies last year, A Fabled Holiday, and I forgot what Will Kemp's was, where he was playing an American in England, and his accent was like, his American accent was terrible. I don't have a lot of faith in it, but my Norwegian holiday delivered, and it's making me believe that Hallmark has still got some gems in them to take us all the way to Christmas. All right, guys, let me know if you saw this movie, 10 out of 10. I have watched it three times already today. I fall in love with it every time. And that forest scene, it's like towards the last half an hour of the movie, get yourself ready because it is one of the most passionate hugs I've ever seen. And even the final kiss at the end of this movie is, is comedic and funny. I just think this is a dramedy. We we have moments, and let me tell you what I think a dramedy is. When it's time to be funny, we're really, it's funny. When it's time to be dramatic, it's really dramatic. And the movie doesn't have to pick one or another tone. And you generally see that with blockbuster movies or movies that you'll see like on Netflix or um, major networks, you know, like ABC, you'll usually see that. So I love that Hallmark is tapping into it. Shout out to the writers of My Norwegian Holiday and definitely shout out to the entire cast because I, baby, was blown away. And I hope that this movie got some great ratings because it freaking deserved it. And I'm kind of pissed off that Hallmark is replaying it tonight at 10 p.m. Usually the Friday movie is on at least 6 o'clock in the evening before the 8 p.m. new movie. So somebody over there is messing up again on programming and, and I'm going to have to tell Megan. I'm going to have to tell Megan. All right, guys, it's KJM, my Norwegian holiday. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Love this movie. This movie makes me want to be a better person. Rhiannon Fish, I hope that you're watching this. Um, people have been sleeping on you and I think that you are going to be a heavy hitter on Hallmark. And I hope they scoop you up before another network scoops you up and gives you a multi-picture deal because I think you're just that good and I think you're just starting, baby. Shout out to David um, as well. You did an amazing job and I just, I'm just gonna keep watching this movie and keep balling my eyes out till I have no lashes left. All right, guys, be good to yourself. See you at the next Countdown to Christmas review. One love and I'm out.